What's going on you guys? Today we're going to be attacking our chest using no equipment at all. So I'm going to show you guys five different chest workouts or exercises that you can do to target all sections of your chest. And then we're going to do a five minute follow up workout right after it. Before I start the video, I'm going to let you guys know that I usually do a Q&A session at the end of my video. So I pick a question from one of my older videos and then I answer it in the current video. So stick around throughout the entire video to find out what that question is. And if you have a question that you want picked and answered, make sure to leave it down in the comments section. Besides that, let's get right to work, y'all. You already know how we do, man. We waste no time over here. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys five different workouts that you can do, all push-up workouts, to attack all sections of your chest. So the first one, incline push-up. This one targets the lower chest more than, you know, the general chest, as well as the lower back. So it takes off some pressure from your upper body. It's a great starter push-up, you know, if you don't know how to do most of the other ones. So our second one here is decline push-up. So it's almost like the opposite of incline. So one round, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. This one targets your upper uh, chest as well as your front deltoids heavily. So this one is tougher than the incline as well. It's not going to be as easy, but it's very well worth it, and it works the chest very well. Next up here we got wide push-ups one round 30 seconds on 30 seconds off this one's just like a regular neutral push-up except you have a wide grip you know in comparison to a neutral grip to target the width of the chest the next one here targets the middle of the chest so the center point that line between the chest and you know it helps you build in mass in the chest so 30 seconds on 30 seconds off diamond push-up make sure your hands are in a diamond grip and you're pushing and squeezing at the top of each rep so finally we've got neutral army push-up this one has a faster tempo than the other ones you'll notice it's not super quick but it's also not as slow as the other ones you want to build endurance with this one and you want to train your chest your shoulders and just burn them out so just burn them out with this one go crazy with it okay that's it so those target every section of your chest from the middle all the way to the width so here we go with the warm-up before the five minute workouts using all of those exercises so get ready just do some uh, dynamic stretching so make sure you're moving your body and you're making sure you're getting your heart rate pumping and let's get ready to work
for today's question, we're going to be going with Mohammed's. Which food should I eat to get abs? Okay, so when it comes to building abs, it begins in the kitchen. You wanna focus on meals that are rich in protein and you know, less fats, less carbs, less processed foods, less sweet foods, less you know deep fried, all that nasty stuff that you know is packing a ton of calories that you don't need. You wanna focus on meals that contain eggs because they contain more protein and less calories. There's other ones you can go for, Greek yogurt, you know, lean beef, all that stuff right there. Tons of them out there. Do your research. I'll probably be making a video pretty soon about, you know, some foods that I usually would eat to build abs or to maintain abs. So stay tuned for that video and that's it for that question. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, don't forget to run the likes up on this one. Hit the subscribe button down below and the gold bell icon right next to it to turn on notifications. If you enjoyed this video and want to see some more like it, make sure to check out the video on the screen right now and I will catch you guys in my next video. It's Midas and I am out, y'all.